Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you my favorite time tracking app. This works for Android and iOS. I'm gonna show you the Android version here and it's called A-Tracker. I'll put a link in the description for it and go ahead and install it. I've already been using this app and I really enjoy it from all the time tracking apps I use. This is by far my favorite. Let me go ahead and open it to show you a few things about the app. Let me just give you a quick layout of the app here. So on the very bottom, you have your menu here. So you have today, that's the things you're doing today. Obviously yours is gonna be empty because you downloaded it just now, but I'm gonna show you how to add these different sections to it. Next to it, you have calendar. It's gonna break up your day by the activities you do. You have your history, you have your report that you could break down today, seven days and so on. And then you have your settings options, which we're not gonna worry about right now. So to get started with the app, I'm on the today tab here and we want to create some different categories for ourselves. So next to all on the top left, there is an icon that I'm gonna press that's gonna take me to tasks. Under tasks, I want to create different tasks for myself and that's why pressing the plus sign on the top right. If I do that, I could name the task anything I want. So let's call this record video what I'm doing right now. You could select an icon for it. So you could search for different icons, for example, video, and you could leave it on active. You could leave the color to auto. It will select it for you. And then you could choose a category. Now we haven't set any categories yet, so it's gonna be under not categorized, but I have set a bunch of different categories, so I'll show you how to do that. And then you could put a little description here to see what this task is all about and press done. That's all you would have to do to create that. Now, if you wanna move it up and down within your day, Press the icon next to the plus sign and it's gonna let you just grab these three lines and drag it here. So wake up is obviously always number one for me. And when I'm done, I'm just gonna go back here and record video has moved to number two. So I'm gonna click that icon next to all again. And now there is a category section too. So that's the hierarchy above tasks. So tasks is number one, category is a bundle on top of that. I'm gonna press that icon right next to tasks and this is category, same thing. You could press plus, create a category, press done, and now I've created that new category. Again, I could sort it by pressing the icon next to the plus sign, and I could move it up and down, and then I could press that icon again, and if I wanted to delete it, I could just press delete category on the bottom. So. This is what, how you get started with the app. Create a bunch of categories for yourself. You could keep it as simple as work and personal too if you just want two categories to divide work and personal. Then you create the different tasks that you do and assign a category to each one. So that's the second step. Once you do all that and you have your day organized, you could come to this page and start a task. So here, press plus and you could go ahead and choose a task here. And it has to be from one of one of the ones you created. You can't create it here. So if I wanted to record video, that's what I'm doing right now. It's just by default gonna pick the moment that you're gonna press record. So that's right now. I'm gonna press done. And as you could see, record video is starting right now. So this is how simple this is. I could tap it and stop it, and I could tap it to start it. So once this is all filled up, for example, I'm making a half infinity video, I could just press it and it starts recording the time. And if you go to your calendar, as you could see, the calendar is gonna just auto-populate. So for example, if I go to yesterday, I could see exactly what I did all day because I tracked every waking moment until I went to bed. So from the moment I woke up all the way to the moment I went to bed, I recorded everything here. I run three different companies, so it's really important for me to categorize my time and manage my time and then keep track of it. And at the end of the week, I could go to the report tab on the bottom, Go to my seven days and see everything I did. So here I recorded 91 hours in the course of my week. Some of my downtimes were also recorded, but it breaks down to a nice pie chart or you could go to a daily average and see what you did. So I locked 13 hours on a daily average here. And it's that simple. Anytime you wanna stop a task, go ahead and press it. And if you wanna start a new one, go ahead and select a new one. So if I wanted to take a lunch, I could do that. And anytime I could go ahead and erase that data task it just removes the time. It doesn't remove the task itself. To do that, you have to go to the task manager. But that's a brief overview of how to use this app. Once you start using it, you'll pretty much get used to it. But just remember, once you log in here, don't press the plus sign first. Go to your tasks, add a bunch of different tasks with the plus sign, go to categories, add a different categories here, and then you could start using the app by just logging in different tasks that you do throughout the day. 
The free version of the app has a limitation on how many tasks and categories you could create. So if you do find this useful, which I did the moment I started using it, you could go ahead and upgrade it. There is an upgrade. I think it's only $5 for iOS and only $2 for the Android app. So you could go ahead and do that. And if you want to use this on the web version, they have a subscribe option to do that too. But this app, I think the pro version is only $5 on iOS and $2 on Android. Let me just check on the Apple store. And here we go. There is a pro version, a tracker, pro time management, time tracker is $5. But you could get started with the free one, but it is going to limit how many things you could do on here. Once you start using it and you enjoy it, go ahead and subscribe and get the paid version. I recommend using this for a week and really seeing where your time goes. It's a really big eye opener to see where your time goes when you look at the report and see how much time you're spending on different activities. And it will really help you be more organized and more productive with your time. I hope you found this helpful. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for daily tech videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.